Attention! This video is made for scientific and educational purposes. The video does not violate YouTube's rules. Link to the document with links to the original video and quotes in the description. Hi! Welcome to the news of the world of weapons. Today we will tell you about the successful test of the hypersonic glide body weapon. If you like the video, please like it and share it on social networks. We remind you that this video is of a scientific and educational nature and does not violate the rules of YouTube. Link to the document with links to all video sources and quotes in the description. The US Army and Navy tested a hypersonic weapon system, a test the Pentagon describes as a success. The common hypersonic glide body, or CHGB, lifted off from a testing site in Hawaii and struck its designated target. The US military is racing to catch up with China and Russia in developing hypersonic weapons. Hypersonics are weapons that travel faster than Mach 5, up to Mach 20, and represent a different class of weapons than ballistic missiles and their warheads, which travel at speeds of up to Mach 24. The key difference between the two is that hypersonic weapons remain in the atmosphere during flight, while ballistic missile warheads spend much of their flight time in lower Earth orbit. By the way, we have a Telegram channel. There we publish what is not allowed on YouTube so be sure to subscribe. The link will be in the description. CHGB will form the basis for hypersonic weapon systems fielded by both the Army and Navy. According to the Department of Defense, CHGB will comprise a hypersonic weapons, conventional warhead, guidance system, cabling, and thermal protection shield. The weapon is launched into the air on a rocket booster, which then sets it on an atmospheric flight path that sees the weapon roar down onto target at speeds of Mach 5 or faster. The Army and Navy are both fielding their own hypersonic systems, with CHGB as the main vehicle itself. The Army version will be carried in pairs by heavy truck. A model of the system was shown at a House Army caucus breakfast early this year. Meanwhile, the Navy version will likely equip Arleigh Burke-class guided missile cruisers, Ticonderoga-class destroyers, and possibly the new Zumwalt-class stealth destroyers. The Navy variant will also be carried by newer Virginia-class submarines with the new Virginia payload module insert. The test was conducted on March 19 at the Pacific Missile Range Facility Barking Sands, on the island of Kauai. But we still don't know a lot of important details, like how fast the missile went, how long it flew, how far it flew, and how accurate it was in striking the target. The next step, according to the Army, is mating the CHGB to a rocket booster and testing the entire weapon system at once. That test is slated to take place by 2023. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Subscribe to not miss new videos from the world of weapons. See you in the new video.